Let's take a couple of moments and we'll walk through some of the basic navigation settings on the AVIC 5000 next. So uh, from the screen we can touch the search button and we'll scroll over one menu to our settings menu here. So here under route preferences we can uh, choose a number of different things here. You set up many of these when you first installed the system. Here we are driving a car and we have the fastest route planned. Let's take a look at that. We can choose the fastest route, easiest, shortest, or, econo or most economical. Fast and short routes are often two very different things. We'll close that. Let's go back. Next up are our sound settings. And here, we can hear the voice of the system, which the volume is now set to 100%. If I drag this back, you'll see that uh, we can audition the voice and see how loud it's going to be by letting my finger go. Have a nice trip. Drive carefully. We can go back. We also have alert beeps and dings that will give us uh, information about what's happening on the screen and when it's time to make turns. You can change the volume of these things as well. Here, if you want, you can turn voice guidance on or off. Let's take a look at one more setting under the sound settings. And that's under voice guidance here, we'll get to our verbosity level. And verbosity level, well, you can have the system speak to you, but only a little bit, medium, or be quite verbose, or talk to you quite a lot. We'll go back. Next up are our warnings. Speed warning right here will tell you if you're driving over the speed limit if you wanted to. So right now we have uh, set for audio and visual speed warnings. If you want to disable the speed warnings, you can do that here, and you can have visual or audio and visual. You can close that. Here we, can, uh, we have the speed limit is always listed on the screen. If you don't want to see that speed limit sign on your screen, just take this checkbox away. Here we have our warning of the speed limit outside of cities and in cities. These two settings work the same way. If you want to be warned of the speed limit at 100% of the speed limit, you can leave that here. If you want, you can set this to 100, 125, something like that, and you'll hear the speed limit warning when you've gone a little over, or you can drag it backwards and get a warning when you're getting close to the speed limit. We'll set that at 100 for right now. We'll go back out. Next up is our navigation map, and here we can choose a number of different things that are shown on the display. Let's look at the map display setting. And under viewpoint right here is where we can change the zoom level of the system. We can choose uh, to zoom it in close, leave it in a normal range, or farther away. So we have three different zoom level settings right there. Uh, the system will dynamically change your zoom as you're driving. So when you're driving fast, you'll get a wider point of view. And when you're driving slower or stopped, you'll get a much narrow and closer point of view. Our route progress bar shows us how far along we are on the route on the far right side of the screen. You can choose to have that on or turn it off. And there are a number of other different changes you can make here, including junction view and signposts. These are very realistic signposts and views of the actual geometry of your turn. Go back out. Next are our regional settings. And here you can change the language of the voice that is talking to you and you can change the type of voice. Here we have uh, US English selected with our female voice Amy. We can change that to a male voice if you want to, or you could change it to a computerized text-to-speech voice. We'll go back. And also down here, time zone, we can uh, have the system automatically uh, set the time using the GPS and the time zone that you're in, but occasionally you might need to make a change to that, and you can manually change the time zone if you want. We can also set daylight saving time on or off here as well. Let's take a look at the display. And here we can switch the uh, menu animations on or off or change how the display appears. 